Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. So we just made it to O'Reilly's and I am putting the alternator in right now. Um, thank goodness this O'Reilly's had this alternator because this was the third part store we had to go to and I had to buy brand new batteries just to make it to this part store. But yeah, we ended up getting all the parts. Uh, everything went pretty good. Um, yeah. So I got the alternator in and, and then we tested it and yep. Hey friends, you have to bear with this. This Insta360 have a, it has a mind of its own, and we had it pointed down right at the alternator, but for some reason, it just points wherever it wants to. We're still trying to figure it out.
should put a new belt on, but we're in emergency, so we're just gonna stop this on later on and hope it fixes the problem. Okay, hopefully it was the alternator and not the CPU. There it goes. It's charging. Thank goodness it's not the CPU because we have to uh, custom order a voltage regulator hardwired into the battery from the alternator. Looks like it's working. That's great. Let's see if we can make it home now. We only have two hours to go out of this eight hour trip. Hey friends, we are finally leaving Eureka to fix the charging problem. Hot truck. Finally, the third part store had an alternator. So, the first part store we went to, they were closed obviously, so we ended up sleeping all night. Uh, 
and they opened at 8 o'clock. So right when they opened, I went in there and they didn't have any home leaders. They had the corner and they had one in the next town over, which was Eureka. Um, so instead of going there, there was an auto zone next door. So I went there and they had to order them too. And I guess with this here, Dodge Truck is 2001. There's a couple of different uh, alternators for this year, so it kind of makes it a pain to get the right part. So I was like, okay, we don't want to sleep in the parking lot all day waiting, and I got my tools in the truck, so I'm not going to get a hotel with a bunch of homeless people steal all my stuff. So I, uh, my boss, a new set of batteries for the truck. They already have new batteries in it, or I already put new batteries in it, so it's like, but I bought some new batteries for the truck, there's two of them, so that was pretty expensive, and I was able to get to the next town, which was Eureka, it's about a 15 mile drive, and they made it, and they had an alternator there, so I pulled in there, there was parking, and and got the alternator out and put a new one in and it fixed it. So really grateful for that. I was doing some research on the truck and I guess the voltage regulator built into the computer so sometimes uh, it can be the voltage regulator and not the alternator so I guess you have to hard wire in a voltage regulator to the alternator to the battery to bypass it and back those out. Uh, we're on the road, and I really I don't have any of my electrical tools on me, so that was kind of out of the question. So we put the new alternator in, and that worked. So me and Denise, we uh, sat down for like an hour with the truck idle, and I wanted to make sure the alternator wasn't going to fail or anything weird. But after you go south of Eureka, there's nothing for like an hour, hour and a half. There's just absolutely nothing. There's redwood trees. So rivers, nothing, nothing out here. A lot of the areas don't even have cell service. So you don't want to get stuck in this area. And uh, so yeah, kept charging, everything worked. We ate some lunch, got some coffee, and yeah, now we're heading back home with the dozer. Everything is good to go.
already had some binders, but I wanted to get new ones, so if any DOT officers see me, it would look pretty good, at least. Since I am hauling the devil's road to three quarters on pickup. Wiki says this thing is six to eight thousand pounds with no attachments, and it has the four speed uh, canopy and a blade and the winch, so I don't know. I'm thinking it's around 11,000. 10, 11,000, maybe. Thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far into the video, it was a pretty long journey getting this little dozer here with my three quarter ton pickup. It probably took about 10 hours of driving. A um, bunch of spots where the road was really bumpy and steep, and I was just going about 35. So it was a little longer than I figured, but I'm going to be making the next video working on the D2 dozer. Feel free to follow me on this journey if you want to see me restore and revive this machine and get it into action. We'll see you on the next one.